hello programmers spide is back with one another video in previous video we have seen about aws recognition and ec2 now in this video i'm going to show you how you can deploy your machine learning api into the aws ec2 so this video is continuation of this fruit and vegetable recognition i'm going to use this same project into this video i'm going to create a api for this uh, project that is using a module where user is uploading the image and user will get the prediction so for this task i'm going to create api so without wasting time let's get started and if you are not subscribed to machine learning of youtube channel then please subscribe yeah so this is the application that i have created i'm not going to discuss a uh, whole application code again so this is the application but now in this application what i was doing is i was uh, doing all the machine learning prediction procedure into the my application that is actually not good because if someone uh, currently my application using by less number of people but if uh, what if uh, millions of people are using the application at the same time then my application will be crash it for sure because i cannot able to make the heavy workload of machine learning into the my same code of the application so that's why i'm going to create api for it so let's see what api code that i've created so api code can be different you cannot follow the same code as mine but obviously you will get idea how to create api and how to deploy an aws ec2 so currently we are going to deploy api in local and then we will move this same api into the aws ec2 and this same api we are going to use into our application so that our work can be done very in in very less time because all the heavy workloads are handled by ec2 now we need to focus only user experience of application so this is the api python file that i have created so what is containing it's containing the copy of this whole not whole code but only module where that for that module i want to create api so what i have done just copy that module and paste it into this code but here i need to make a few changes first of all i need to uh, get or import all the necessary packages like numpy keras tensorflow uh, keras is obviously using tensorflow in backend so cancel tensorflow i don't need to import but remember now if i'm going to create api i should have the support of any framework like flask django or fast api here for simplicity i'm using flask now all the procedure will be same because now i want to create an api that will take data from user and that data will be image and api will pre-process the image it will create the, uh, means it will get the prediction of that image and it will send prediction back to user so now I, for that i knew i need to have the loaded model of tensorflow because for that i need to obviously have the save model if you don't know how i save this model just follow my previous video so these all are the labels so currently i am having the uh, 36 types of uh, category and this is the model that i loaded so this is fv.h5 is a trend model <coughs> <coughs> sorry now i need to create a one function that function will make the prediction so this function requirement is it will get the image path image path means where your image is actually located then it will open that image and resize into two to four actually that is requirement of my model your model requirement can be different now that i'm going to just convert that image into the array and dividing into 255 because of pixel size and then i will get the model prediction model dot predict it will give me the number of class like it is 0 1 or 2 but i cannot display user it is 0 or 1 because user doesn't know what is meaning of 0 1 no, 1 or 2 so for that what i'm doing i'm getting is labels so a uh, labels key and value so if user is uh, user is getting the 0 then automatically apple will be printed if prediction is 8 then chili paper will be printed right so that's how i'm uh, doing all this thing here now it then result dot capitalize so this function is doing nothing it, this is this function is taking an image from the user that is uploaded by user and it will return the prediction so now this whole module i'm going to upload into the ec2 but let's test before in local now for creation of, of api i need to have the some flask application should be initialized so this is the flask application that i have initialized here now i am for my application <coughs> api i should have some root so root means i have given the predict here that i will explain you later like what is the mean of it only method is allowed uh, that i'm going to allow is post because for this kind of image data i should allow the post only now i'm create going to create one another function in for image now this function is for the api because you can observe app dot root after the app dot root i have defined this function so this function will take 
uh, this function will treat it as a my API. So re um, remember, this is how we can create the API. In your case, API code may be changed. Obviously, you cannot follow the same code as mine, but you will get idea. So if file not in request dot file. So now our API is requesting user to now please provide some uh, file that you want to make the prediction. Now for that, I should have defined some ID. So for simplicity, I have given the file ID. So user will provide a kind of you can consider as a JSON. The JSON key will be the file and value will be the file file itself. So if ID is not file, then it will give this it will throw the error JSON if I please try again the image doesn't exit. So what is the JSON if I JSON if I is inbuilt module of flask <coughs> that will uh, get it, it that will give the response to client as a JSON object. Now if client is not providing the file then this is the try and exception kind of error handling but if client is providing the particular file then i need to get that file i need to read that file into the bytes and then i am storing this image into my file system so obviously this is where this is my image uh, like this is the path where my image is going to be stored so every time i am not uh, repeating i am just every each and every image i'm storing as a test.jpg so as will be it will be overridden because if i'm going to deploy an ec2 so obviously it will be like unnecessary images so instead of that i'm just going to replace the images continuous so i'm writing that image and now after the writing this image i'm going to provide this path to my prepare image function that i've created and you know that this prepare image function will take the image path actual image and it will give you the result so it will return the result here <coughs> sorry so it will return the result here and then return dot jsonify so now my or like api task is almost done now i just need to send the result to user so return jsonify prediction is equal to result so prediction will be my key and result will be my value now result can be anything it could be anything from this class whatever if user is uploading apple then it could be apple banana whatever depends on prediction so now my api is com totally completed now i need to just run this api app dot run debug is equal to false so make sure you remember that if you are testing your api then you you can make your debug you can make your debug is equal to true but if you are testing in production then make it false so debug is equal to true it simple means that if you are making any single changes then it will be restart so it will be overburden your server so in production make it false in your local you can make it true but i don't want to make any changes here so i just make it a false <coughs> now host is equal to 000, zero that i will explain you later okay i'm going to run this api so let me run this api and uh, let's test so for testing i'm going to use the postman so let me open the postman as well okay so i have opened the postman and now <coughs> my application is running successfully so if i'm going to on this url obviously it will not found anything because i don't have given any html file but now what is my root it is slash predict so if i'm going to make this it will show me method not allowed because post method is not allowed from here <coughs> now for testing our api what how can how we can now test our api we just need to copy this url here make copy paste in uh, postman and now request is equal to you need to select a post now go to the body select the form data and now review remember that we have given our key is equal to five file and then you need to choose here uh, here two option will be there you need to choose a file because now we are taking as a image select file so currently i'm going to make uh, select image is a tomato and going to send a re uh, request so if i'm going to observe the terminal you can see my compiler is started and okay response is tomato yes so if i'm going back to my console or post console of postman you can see prediction is equal to tomato now if i'm going to make uh, try on other images okay i'm choosing banana this time you can say prediction is equal to banana so now it confirmed that my application api is running fine so now let's move to the aws console so let me open the console first 
console.aws you just need to have the some aws account here now we need to create ec2 you can directly search ec2 from here if you can find on console now i need to go into the instances you from the left panel you will get instances now i need to launch a new instance <coughs> now uh, name of my instance so i'm just providing it is a pi instance copy this name now as operating system i'm familiar with ubuntu you can choose whatever windows mac linux i'm more comfortable with ubuntu 20.04 i'm going to choose it now most important configuration is this instance type is equal to t2.micro now it is available in free trial so it will be not charged but remember that if you are having the high machine learning kind of the workload then this is not going to help you because you can see only one gb one gb of memory is there so what instance that you need to choose i'm going to choose a t2 large which is having the 8 gb of ram to virtual cpu <coughs> so obviously it will take some cost from me but for demo because my application is processing tensorflow and deep learning so obviously it's high consumption will be there <coughs> key pair so i'm going to create a new key pair i'm going to paste the same name <coughs> now if i'm there will be two options pm and ppk so if you are using ubuntu choose pm but if you are using windows choose ppk but for from windows still you need to have the putty there <coughs> but either uh, either what you can do you can download the git bash in windows and still you can try a PM, uh, pm file so pm file so this key file will be used to connect make your uh, desktop connection with your ec2 instance so just create a key pair your key pair will be downloaded and this is the last and first time it will be downloaded then you cannot access this key so make sure you get this file proper and it will be stored at particular format now it's time for network configuration so guys this configuration is very important make sure you didn't make any mistake here otherwise your instance will be not accessible so now create a security group you just need to make tick on this option now you need to allow these two options allow https and http traffic now go to edit here now you need to make your security group rule so already three rules will be there now we don't need to touch anything here but we need to add a new security group rule <coughs> now my flask application is running on 5000 port so i'm going to define 5000 5000 port here <coughs> but in your case it would be different if i'm using another like django or any other application server then port can be different so you need to mention your port here now custom tcp is right source type is equal to you need to choose anywhere now remember if you are forgetting this step then your flask application or whatever it is it will be not accessible now configure storage so with your ec2 elastic block storage uh, ebs 8gb storage will be there but if you want more then you can increase this size but for uh, for me i am happy with 8 gb now every configuration is done launch instance it will take around two to three minutes mm, now let's check our instance in running state you can see your instance state here so it's running so now click on this instance id so now my virtual server is running i need to make a connection with my virtual server four options are there you can directly connect through your browser as well using ec2 instance connect but i'm more happy with the terminal so i need to open terminal here where you need to open terminal where you have downloaded your key file so i have downloaded my key file here open terminal here now copy this command you just need to make a copy you don't need to think anything just copy it and now this is the last command that you need to copy now it will ask you, you want to connect with your ec2 just type yes here okay so now i'm connected with my ec2 you can see ubuntu this is my ip of ec2 so i'll just make me a little bit zoom here so you uh, you guys also can see in details <coughs> so this is my phrase ec2 instance 
now make sure you remember that if you are uh, opening your ec2 instance you always run as a super user so may write sudo su now if you are uh, making a first boot of any instance make sure you update it so sudo su apt get update okay i just missed it apt get update okay i just mistake that sudo su is already have given okay it, it will take a hardly one minute to install all the updates so it is actually updating all the required packages of our ubuntu that updated now what i need to do i need to have the python should be there so let's check python okay python 3.8 is here now i need to have this code into my ec2 how i can do that so either you can push this repository into your github and then directly you can git clone second option is you can upload this code into your uh, aws s3 bucket and from there you can directly fetch but this is lengthy procedure so here i'm i've already uploaded this code into my github so i don't need to worry of it i will directly git clone it for that i need to check git is there or not so obviously git is here i need to clone it so let me open this repository in my this github and then i will make a git clone okay so my repository is clone if i'm going to write ls you can see my repository is here and my all the codes are here so let's go into that directory <coughs> ls and now you can see my code is there ec2 api so obviously our almost every work is done now i just need to run this code but before that uh, my code requirement is i should have the uh, directory called upload images that i need to create actually okay so my directory is created now my another requirement is all the requirement should be installed because for this project i need to have tensorflow akras and all should be there so what either can i do here let me check pp is there or not okay pp is not there okay let me install the pip and then i will install all the requirements of my project because running api there are lots of uh, keras and tensorflows are required so that i need to install so i already created requirement.txt if you want to see this is the requirement.txt so all these modules are will be installed okay so all modules are installed now what we need to do pip is installed now we just need to install our uh, required model so what i will do python 3 dash m pip install dash r requirement.txt so in your case requirement.txt can be different based on your application so it will take a hardly two to five minutes so as you can see on my screen all the requirements <coughs> are installed successfully now it's time to run this our api so let's write python 3 ec2 api.py and your application is started so i'm going to this url and now you will be little bit shocked because that api both of the url are not working but it, it was working same in local so what will you do in this situation so remember my word this will not work like this you need to go to your instance page you need to copy your instance public ipv4 now remember i have given that uh, i have configured that security rule 5000 now i need to write 5000 here because 
my application api is deployed on this port only and now you can see i can able to access my api here so let write predict here okay you can see matter not allowed so my application is now successfully deployed on ec2 copy this url let's try obvious so instead of this local url i'm going to paste ec2 url and make the request so you can see it's working prediction is equal to banana let's try on apple yeah it's working fine if you want to see the logs you can see all the logs are printed here but if i'm going to close this if i'm going to close this terminal or either i'm pressing the control c or i'm just making it off and i'm going to make it a uh, terminal off so then what it will do it will uh, automatically close the application so now you can see could not send a request because my application api is closed if i'm going to refresh then it will be not available so every time it's not possible that you open your terminal every time again so i have another way how you can achieve this so with this way you don't need to make your terminal running your application will be running by 24 hours so let me connect again with instant let me show you how you can do that okay i'll again let me zoom it now what you need to do as i said first make it super user now what you need to do uh, i have one command that is called no hub so with this command you can run your application continuously as a service so if you are closing the terminal or whatever you are, you are going to do your application will be not stop until you are going to turn off your instance so let's run this but this time i'm going to run with no hub command n o h u p then same command python 3 ec2 api okay now let's check again okay now you can see now i'm just going to close this terminal let's see it is running or not see it's running now you can see terminal is not open still it is running so now this api is successfully deployed in ec2 now i'm going to use in my uh, web application so already code is ready made of my web application that i already explained in previous video now instead of processing uh, in local i'm just going to provide my api url here the file path that i'm taking from the user that i'm going to provide and then request.post i'm making post request to my api and response will be a get into the json and that's how my application is running so let run my application with ec2 api so let me run streamlit run app.py so guys you can you obviously have seen that my api is working fine so let's see my streamlit app is running or not so it will take a little bit of time okay so my application is open i'm going to upload a banana and you can see how fast i'm getting response if i'm going to make a same thing into the local i will get a slowly response see prediction is apple now you can see prediction is tomato so now my application is running continuously in my ec2 now in your mind one question will be there how to close this api if you want to make a few changes in your code again go to your instance connect with your instance let me show you so my application is working successfully i'm happy with it so i've created my ec2 api i have deployed into the ec2 and now my application is uh, very working very smoothly as you can see it's working very fast because of workload is shifted to ec2 now only uh, viewing experience is into my application now make the super user sudo su now there is one command ps dash ef so it will return all the processes that is running 
so as i said no hop command will convert your python file uh, means your execution into the process and now you can see here you will find your uh, your api running as a process into your ec2 so that cannot be stopped and it if you are going to make it running for 30 days it will run 30 days now i need to stop this procedure so you need to get the pid process id of from here so what is the process id of this it is 7357 so write kill 7357 and now you can see it is stop let's check it is stop or not i'm going to upload the banana here and now you can see my api stop it is showing me a connection error so that's how you can build your api that's how you uh, with this same guide you can follow your api and you can deploy in your ec2 obviously your code your uh, way of means your code will be different for sure because in my case i am using different approach but the uh, this follow will be same you just need to follow the structure create your api run it in local and check it is working or if it is working deploy same code in ec2 write no hub command and make it continuously running and use same same api into your application so with this your application workload will be very less and now my application is also working fine now i'm going to delete this instance because this is uh, obviously taking a charge from me this is not a free tire so just click on this instance and terminate it don't forget to if you are making a practice don't forget to terminate it otherwise you will get a very huge amount of bill from aws so guys that's all from my side i hope that you got an idea how you can create and deploy your api into aws ec2 if you didn't get anything just comment down and like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe machine learning hub youtube channel and guys thank you for the listening see you in the next one bye